Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I am going to explain you three interesting application layer protocols for email services in computer network. See here, we can have SMTP, POP and IMAP protocol that we use it for email services in computer network. So first of all, what I will do is, I will explain you one practical example in which I will show you how email is getting forwarded from one sender to one receiver using these three protocols and at last i will explain you comparison of these three protocols with respect to varieties of parameters so let us try to understand first how one computer can forward email to another computer so before i explain you that process let me clarify one thing here we are not talking about email forwarding using web browser for example as if normal person is forwarding email using computer then that person will be using web browser like chrome browser that person might be using inside chrome browser you might be writing gmail.com or yahoomail.com and you will be forwarding email here we are not talking about that email forwarding here we are talking about email forwarding with the use of well defined application like you can observe here this computer is having microsoft outlook application for email services if you have Mac operating system, in that case, you can have Apple Mail application in your system. So, with this applications, we can forward email as well. In corporates, you will be observing these applications are used for email forwarding, right? Now, let us consider this computer is forwarding email to this computer. So, obviously, this computer will be sender. I am writing S over here. And this computer is receiver I am writing R over here. Here, see this computer, this computer is sender. And let us consider this computer belongs to IBM. So, whenever this computer is forwarding email, that email will be given to IBM server first. And this receiver belongs to Oracle. So, delivery to this computer will be given by Oracle server. So, how email forwarding will happen? This computer will be forwarding email that will go to IBM server first. Then IBM server will forward that email to Oracle server. And then this Oracle server will retrieve that email over here to receiver. See, this is how practically things are happening. But let us try to understand this with bit more clarity and with bit more details. So, if you observe here, this sender, this sender is mentioned as per technical term that is MUA. MUA means what? Mail user agent. So, all the users are defined as this short term that is MUA, mail user agent. You can say sender and receiver, there is no issue with that. So, here this sender is sending email to this IBM server. Why? The reason is this sender belongs to IBM server. Now, this email will be coming over here in IBM server and it will be getting delivered to the MSA and this transferring that is happening as per simple mail transfer protocol SMTP and MSA will receive this email. MSA means what? Message submission agent. So, message submission agent will receive this email from MUA that is sender over here. Now, this message submission agent will transfer this email to MTA. MTA means message transfer agent. And this transfer of email that is happening with the use of SMTP protocol again. So, in IBM server, we are having MSA and MTA. Those are softwares that you can say. And they are transferring email with the use of SMTP protocol. Now, IBM server will forward this email to Oracle server and that is happening in between MTA only, message transfer agent and this transfer will happen with the use of SMTP protocol. Once this email is received over here, this MTA will forward this email to MDA of receiver server. Receiver server is Oracle server over here. MDA is what? Message delivery agent. So, here message delivery agent will be receiving this email from MTA 
and this MDA will place this mail into mailbox of Oracle server. Mailbox means there will be well defined storage. Inside that storage, that mail will be placed over here. Once that email is placed inside mailbox, here from mailbox, POP server or IMAP server can retrieve email. So, here remember see this POP or IMAP out of these two any of the proto protocol can be used. POP server can, POP can be used or IMAP can be used. It is not compulsory like POP should be there or IMAP should be there. Out of these two any of the protocol can be used. So, POP will be retrieving email from mailbox and it will deliver it to MUA receiver over here or there can be IMAP which can retrieve email from this mailbox and it, it will be delivering it to receiver over here, right. So, you might be having question like what is the difference in between POP and IMAP? See, when we talk about POP, post office protocol, at the time, whenever POP is forwarding this email to this receiver, at the time, it will be deleting that email inside this mailbox. But when it comes to IMAP, then this IMAP will be forwarding email to this receiver, but it will not delete mail inside this mailbox. So, there will be mail available inside this mailbox in case of IMAP is used, but as if POP is used, in that case, POP will be forwarding this email over here and it will delete it from this mailbox. That is the basic difference in between POP and IMAP. So, here, see, in basic term, you can say as MTP protocol that we use it to transfer email, right? And POP and IMAP that we use it for retrieving email from, from receiver server to receiver. See, this is receiver computer and this is receiver server. So, to retrieve email from receiver server to receiver computer, we use POP and IMAP, right. So, you can say SMTP that is used to push email and POP is used to POP email from the server, right. Now, let us try to understand how basic comparison is there in between these three protocols. So, when you talk about full forms, then SMTP is simple mail transfer protocol, POP means post office protocol, IMAP means internet message access protocol. See, when you talk about transfer type, then SMTP that we use it to send mail or you can say push mail. Well, when we talk about POP and IMAP, then that we use it to retrieve mail or you can say POP mail, right. See here, when you talk about port numbers, that frequently comes in competitive examination. So, you must have to remember this. See, SMTP is having port number that is 25. POP is having port number that is 110, that is by default port number, but as if SSL is used, in that case port number will be 995 with POP. With IMAP, default port number that is 143 and as if SSL is used, in that case port number will be 993. So, in case of SSL, in POP 995, in IMAP 993 port numbers are there and default port number for POP is 110 and with IMAP it is 143. And here, see along with this transferring of mail at transport layer, which protocol is implemented. So, in majority of cases, you will be observing TCP is utilized. Why? The reason is email services that requires connection oriented services. There should be proper data transfer. No data should get missed over here. That, that's why in majority of cases, you will be observing at transport layer, TCP is functioning along with email services. I have seen in some books, it is mentioned like UDP is also allowed, but probably what I consider is like UDP is connection less service and in that there is a high probability that data may be missing and as if data is getting missed out in that case, that email will be having corrupted data. So, in general, you do not receive corrupted data with email, it is connection oriented service. 
So, in that you will be observing we are using TCP with all these protocols, right. So, this is all about these three protocols. I hope now you have understood the basic terminologies as well as how message is getting transferred in email. And again, remember this email service that is based on application oriented email service. It is not like you are forwarding email using web browser, right. Still, if anything that you would like to ask, please note it down in comment section. I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.